How's it going everybody? Welcome back to a brand new episode today of the Rotherham United series here on Football Manager 2020. Hope you guys are keeping well and safe. If you didn't check out the last, last episode, I genuinely, you know, I recommend going to check that one out because that was a fantastic episode where we played up against Manchester City. We've played a few games since then. We've got a big game again today up against Liverpool, but let's go and see how we've been getting on since the last game against Man City. <laughs> So then here are the three results. <sighs> a little bit disappointing. The, the first game was a 1-0 defeat to Brighton. Brighton were the better team, to be fair. We weren't really in the game, so disappointed to lose that game. Uh, we did go and beat Norwich, though. One goal to nil. It was a late goal by Tommy Doyle, who uh, had just too much power on the shot uh, to offer the goalkeeper. And we got a vital three points in the league. And the most recent game is one of the most frustrating games a football manager I've had in a long time. We were 3-0 up at half-time. Joe Tompkins with a hat-trick. Three beautiful goals. Uh, and then West Brom turned it around. Eddie Nketiah in 11 minutes to go, by the way. West Brom turned it around. Eddie Nketiah scored, uh, obviously, against us, as as you'd expect. Uh, Anthony Ridley and Thiago Almada scoring a late penalty. And then they beat us in a penalty shootout. Herbie Kane missing the last penalty. And West Brom going through to the next round. Very, very frustrating. But today we're up against top of the league Liverpool, who are firm, firm favourites. We're bang on mid-table at the moment, so this season's going slightly better than uh, last season. And with a game in hand, we're currently four points outside of the top seven, which be, would be lovely uh, to get towards. So, uh, yeah, Joe Tonkins is back from injury. He's firing. He's obviously scored a hat-trick in the last game. We really need him to start firing again. Of course, Liverpool is a tough, tough game, and I'm hoping that we can somehow, you know, play like we did against Manchester City and, and get a shock win. We're at home again. Anything can happen at home, and uh, I'm looking forward to it. So let's go and jump into the game. So then here are the teams. We're starting a 4-2-3-1. Tompkins will start up front with Zegrova, Lingard, and Kerstic across the attacking midfield. Uh, Puig and Doyle as the holding midfielders today with Pellegrini, Alessio, George Mir and Castagna across the back and Bayram in goal. We've got Emerson injured unfortunately in the last game so Castagna will start as right back. Uh, Liverpool have got a ridiculous team. Erling Haaland starting on the left. Firmino up front. Salah in the uh, uh, right wing. De Silva through the middle. Frankie de Jong and Barrea in the midfield. Uh, Robertson, Pavard, Van Dijk and Trent with Alisson in goal. It's crazy how solid and how many t players they still have and we're like five or six seasons into the game. They've got a very, you know, consistent team. And no wonder they're doing quite well. So it's going to be interesting. It's going to be a tough game. Of course, we shocked Man City last time. They had so many opportunities. But we held firm. We scored our goals. We took our chances. And I'm hoping we could do the same again today. It's an early chance for Liverpool, though. And they've hit the woodwork already. Pellegrini already on a booking as well after two minutes. It was Erling Haaland who hit the woodwork after just two minutes there. Pellegrini this time. Tompkins flicks that on. Alessio was there. Alessio smashes it in, but it is going to be offside. Wow. Good start to the game. Alessio got in the right place there. Nice little flick on by Joe Tompkins. Promising early signs. Um, yeah, he's well offside, to be fair. Lost his marker quite nicely, and he smashed it in. Volleyed it in quite nicely, but unfortunately, Liverpool do hold on. Um, and what a start that would have been to grab that goal. Still doesn't count as a shot, which is a little bit annoying. So it says we still haven't a had a shot there. We're going to demand a little bit more from the team. With 20 minutes gone, it's still Rotherham nil, Liverpool nil. This team, top of the league, yet to have a shot on target against us, though. In the first half hour, it's quiet. I suppose that's good for us. You know, we're keeping Liverpool at bay at the moment as we continue towards half time. And it looks like it's going to be a very, very boring game of football. But we are going to hold Liverpool here. We certainly are until half-time. Just the two chances. We had it in the back of the net, but unfortunately it was offside. Liverpool hit the woodwork. So both teams could be quite close to taking the lead. But at the moment, that's all that's been very, very quiet. I'm going to tell them we're happy with that. Let's continue with that. A firm defensive performance. Alessio on a 7.0. I say that he's gone down to a 6.9. But um, Liverpool have been very quiet. They've not been themselves. Here's Kerstic with the ball in. Ball in away. Only as far as Virgil, who messed about with it there. We had a shot that was deflected and, and blocked by Virgil. Sadio Mane has now come on for Haaland. A proper winger. Got a bit of pace. And Bradley Bannister has come on for Firmino. He's a new gen who I'm sure bagged a couple of goals against this last season. Uh, but at the moment, we are holding on with 20 minutes ago. It's been an extremely boring game of football. Liverpool do have a corner. I'm going to quickly make a change though, as this corner is taken. Um... I'm going to push push 
I'm going to push Puig up to attack in midfield and bring Herbie Kane on there for Lingard. But Liverpool still have this corner. Salah with the ball in. Back post was there and just over the bar. It was Benjamin Pavard with just over 20 minutes to go with a chance. Herbie Kane has come on. Add a bit of stability to the team. James Tompkins has been quiet as well. Uh, so let's go and bring him off. We're going to bring Jovovic on. I'm going to bring Zhao Tome on as well. The youngster. Can we get one last reaction from the team with just a few minutes to go? It's a Liverpool free kick right on the edge of the area with two or three minutes to go. I don't even want to look. Barea off the woodwork and cleared away again. We're holding on. We've been in this game. You know, Liverpool have had a lot of the ball, but they're just not really threatened us. We've had the only clear-cut chance of the game. I'd assume that was uh, Tompkins, which was blocked and a header right across the face. A goal again from Liverpool. They're going to drop points as it stands. Can we nick a winner, though? It looks unlikely. It looks like it's going to be a goalless, boring draw against Liverpool. But for us, that is not a bad result at all. Um, I'm, going to t I'm going to say well done. You know, we had chances to win the game. We held Liverpool at bay really well. And uh, you full Rotherham draw in Liverpool. I'm very happy with that result, to be fair. Nil-nil against Liverpool. We now play up against Arsenal and Manchester United. A really tough run of fixtures. A horrible month, really, even with Wolves in there, too. So we're going to come back next time for a game against West Bromwich Albion in December. Between now and January, all we have to focus on is the league. We're out of the Carabao Cup, and hopefully we can start gaining some points this month. Do not be surprised if I come back and we haven't won a game. I think it's going to be a very, very difficult month of football. But next time out in December, West Brom, very winnable game. Some big games in December for us to win. But guys, hopefully you did enjoy it today. Not many goals, but another solid performance by the Millers. Be sure to hit the like button down below. Subscribe to the channel if you're new. And until next time, I'll see you all very, very soon.